Okay, today we are here as part of National Inclusion Week. This is our inclusion market. Um, we're celebrating the diverse nature of the communities that make up the West Midlands region, but also our OC staff and our games delivery partners. And it's a way of inviting the community in um, to tell them about the games, to talk about the games and find opportunities for them to get involved. What we're doing really is with the Workplaces Scheme, which is funded for Transport for West Midlands, um, trying to get more people to either consider the idea of cycling to work or actually cycling to work. But we're also trying to include more communities around the West Midlands. Obviously, everyone thinks Commonwealth Games and they think elite sport, but I think the trickle-down effect of major games can have an impact on local communities if it's done correctly. And I think getting things like that involved around the Commonwealth Games and showing people that active travel is so important um, can really help have a lasting legacy, not just on an elite sport level. Southie House has been invited to the Commonwealth Games at Brindley Pace today, Inclusion Week. We're also a part of the recruitment, um, part of the Commonwealth Games, so we're recruiting volunteers. There's a lot of interest happening, so hopefully we should get a lot of volunteers to help. We're fully understanding of how important the Games is to the city of Birmingham and we're, we're proud to be an associate partner of that. We're aware of how many employees there is working uh, for the Games and, and the incredible work what they're doing to, to bring that excitement to the city and we're happy to be a part of that and to provide that uh, facility for the staff as well. I think uh, the Commonwealth Games are about celebrating the Commonwealth but why just celebrate it when it comes to sport? I think we should celebrate Commonwealth people coming to the UK, whether they're care workers or whether they're athletes. And Migrant Voice is about getting the people who don't get to compete in the Commonwealth Games, but who are Commonwealth citizens, people who look after us every day, but you know we clap for them during COVID, getting those voices heard as well as the celebrity athletes.